welcome to my channel today. This is Mark the Tech Guy. Today bringing you vlogs weekly number 36. So this week there's a lot of news flying around the net and Steve Jobs is taking a leave of absence. Now we all know that Steve Jobs took a leave of absence last year because he had a pretty major surgery. So maybe that has come up again and reoccurred where he needs some time off. So he is going to be recuperating and getting better and hopefully he'll be back in time to launch the iPhone 5. Now the iPhone 5 will be launched probably in June. That's usually when they launch the iPhone 5. But we'll have to wait and see. Now there's also rumors going around that possibly there will be a white iPhone 4 being released sometime in February. It looks like February 27th um, there's an article on one of the gadget sites saying that uh, Best Buy will be having it in their stock on February 27th. So that could be a cool f a cool phone to have, but it seems kind of late to come out with the iPhone 4 white. And if you're waiting for it, well, your wait is over. It seems. Now we'll have to wait and see but it looks like that Best Buy may be getting it on February 27th. So we'll just have to wait and see if it shows up in their stock. Now if I hear anything more about it, I will let you guys know. But as of right now, it seems like it's a rumor. Because I can't see Apple releasing this, um, you know, the iPhone 4 white, and then a few months down the road, release the iPhone 5 because a lot of people would want to wait for the iPhone 5 to come out but who knows Apple has done stuff like that before so in other news the iPad 2 is gonna have a front-facing camera and a back-facing camera now now we pretty much knew this was gonna happen but now there's pictures going around the net showing the cameras off now, it seems like maybe there might be an SD card reader on there as well, an SD card slot. Now that would be great to put all your media files on and then pop them into the drive and be able to edit your videos, your pictures, right off the SD card. Or there might be a, U a mini USB port, because I know in the UK, there's a law there stating that they have to have USBs on all of their devices. So if Apple wants to take the market in the UK, they're going to have to accommodate to this. So we'll have to wait and see. And there's already cases showing up with cutouts on the side, which looks like it's for a mini USB port. So we'll have to wait and see as it gets closer to the launch. But uh, in other news, you know, it looks like the finger gestures for the iPhone and the iPad are being taken out. Now, it looks like Apple just put them in there to see what developers could do with them and give them their feedback because now they went and removed them in an update. So now there's, the, there's another update in the SDK which removed the finger gestures so it looks like maybe we might not see the buttons being removed on the iPhone 4 at all or maybe we will so we'll just have to wait and see what happens to that but you know Apple I think they're gonna hold off until the iPhone 5 to release these finger gestures that will be released in the update closer to the launch of the iPhone 5. But that's it for news this week, guys. There's not uh, too much more going on, but it seems like every day there's something new coming out about the iPad 2. So, just to get off topic here a bit, um, I want to start something new on my channel. I want to start um, a little thing to get other viewers involved, I want to do a guest reviewer 
on my channel. So if you're interested in being a guest reviewer on Mark the Tech Guy, go ahead and review either an iPhone app or a gadget and send it to me either at uh, markthetechguy at live.ca or you can message me here on YouTube. Now the way this is going to work is you submit a video and people are going to vote on the video. Now I will put all the videos up and then when you guys vote on your favorite video then that will be my guest reviewer. Now I'm thinking maybe this could be a guest reviewer for the month or maybe I will just go with one guest reviewer and he will review an app once a week. So let me know what you guys think of this and if you would be interested in competing for guest reviewer and I could make this a weekly thing or a monthly thing where I will have a guest reviewer review an app once a week. So guys, that's it for the vlogs this week. This has been Mark the Tech Guy saying please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.